Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Benizu Makwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College on Sundays in the morning and on Wednesdays in the evenings for midweek service. Now, um, I'm bringing you to another uh, chapter of what I, what I said the other day. Dangerous Partnerships, Part 2. And in Part 1, I just said to you, in Judges chapter 7, after Gideon had fasted, broken down, I mean, the altar, he had prayed. I mean, he had been through a whole rigmarole of experiences with God. And then all of a sudden, Gideon comes to a particular position in his life where now the armies were ready. He was now going to battle. And then God said to Gideon, I am not going to give you the victory, not because of anything, but because of the kind of partnerships that you have. Dangerous partnerships. And I said, the need for humanity is partnerships. God didn't make us to be isolated creatures, but God made us to partner, social beings, so that we need partners, people who would help each other. He gave us two hands, so that one hand would bath the other, and then the other one too would take care. He gave us two ears, so that we can cross check what we had is right. He gave us two eyes, so that we can see. And of course, you say one nose, no. Two nostrils. Is there um, one mouth? It's still one mouth, but it's two lips. You know, so that the, the two lips can close it, so that you can stop talking the way you're talking. You know, you keep your mouth in check. So, I mean, partnerships are very, very important in the eyes of God. But in Judges chapter seven, God said to Gideon, "I am not going to give you the victory because of the kind of partnerships that you have. Dangerous partnerships." God said to Gideon, no matter what, you've done all the things that you've done. You've gone through all the spiritual gymnastics. You've been through all the spiritual things that you need to do. But there is something in the physical. There is something in the, this thing. And the reason why, it is not because you have not prayed. It's not because you have not fasted. It's not because you've not even broken down altars. It's not because of that. But it's because of the kind of partnership that you have. Many ministries and many companies and many people progress to success and progress to the, uh, the fulfillment of destiny is impeded not because they are not doing the right, not because they are not righteous people, not because they are doing wrong things, but it is because they are engaged to dangerous partnerships. And now God said to Gideon, all right, the first people I want you to get rid of, the dangerous partnerships that you have, I want you to get rid of those who are fearful. He said, those who are fearful, those who are afraid of the battle, those who are afraid of the outcomes of the battle, those who do not believe that, you know, um, fear comes out of faithlessness. Fear comes out of faithlessness. The opposite of fear is faith. And so when, when God said those who are afraid, that is those who don't have faith in the outcomes. Now here's the dangerous partnership number one. Partnership number one are people who do not believe in your future. They just don't believe in your future. And that is whatever you, you're saying or wherever you're going, they are not sure. They are not, I mean, they are not confident of the outcomes of your final narrative. They are not of the narrative of your life. They are not confident of it. And as a result of that, their fear and their faithlessness will become like anchors that will weigh you in a stationary position in the ocean of life. And you can't move because they have dropped anchor on you. There will be weights to your wings that you can't lift off. Why? Because when you speak, let's go do this, everything in them, you know, Sometimes, and mind you, these people were with Gideon, so they were in an acquiescent mood. That means they were doing moving with Gideon not because they had faith, but they were moving with Gideon because, yeah, that's what it is. You, you understand? But they were not fully convinced because faith 
is built by conviction and a conviction by the word of God. Faith sees possibilities in problems. Faith sees issues of, 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 of success in, in, in loss. Faith sees profit in loss. That is what, that is what this, and the Bible said, God said to Gideon, those who are afraid, let them go home. And to my biggest surprise, when Gideon said, those who are afraid, go home. Otila, you may not understand Otila, that means they got lost. Running away. They left. They left Gideon and they said, no, 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 no. We don't believe in this thing. There might be people walking around you or there may be people sur surrounding you or there might be people fellowshipping around you. Your company, your business, your life, your ministry, and all those things. And the reason why you are facing failure and the reason why you, your waters have become stagnant waters and the reason why you're going around in circles is not because you're not a righteous person, not because you're not fasting enough, not because you're not praying enough, but the people around you. Those who do not believe in you and they do not believe in the vision. God said, let them go. And you know one thing, it is easy to discover those people because God said, you deal with them. That means you, Gideon, spot them out and let them go. So the onus of removing those people doesn't lie in the hands of God. It lies in your hands. So God said, you, Gideon, open your eyes and, or, or, hello, shine your eyes. You get it? Open your eyes and see that this and that and that, they don't believe in where I'm going. Why are you wasting time with them? Get rid of them and you'll be very surprised. See, God doesn't need a mighty army to accomplish what he wants to do. God can use little things. And all that God needs is just those people who have a little mustard seed of faith. That is what will make the difference. Dangerous partnerships. See you in part three.